Hi everyone, in this video I want to go over an older book on differential equations. This is Elementary Differential Equations and Boundary Value Problems, and this is the third edition, and the authors are the one and only Boyce and De Prima. So this is an older book on differential equations. I think this is a good book for beginners. If you're trying to get into differential equations, uh, I highly recommend this book, especially because of the price. You can get this book for just a few dollars on the internet. It is not expensive uh, at all if you get an older edition like I did. Let's take a look inside this awesome book. There's the copyright date, so you see uh, it certainly is an older book. It looks like it was first printed in 1965, and apparently I have the 1977 uh, edition, I believe. Old classic on differential equations. This is the table of contents, and I'll just go slowly and talk as we go through it. I really appreciate this book because it's older. It's an older look at um, differential equations. Notice right away, uh, first order differential equations. So it goes in line with what you would study in a regular classroom. So you, these are all topics that you would typically have on your first exam if you took differential equations. So it does give you an alternate explanation. Then it goes on to second order linear equations. Here it keeps going with second order. Note it said second order. It doesn't just do higher order. So I also teach differential equations and the book I use just goes into higher order. So it does like order three, order two, order four, all at once. Whereas Boyce and De Prima stick to order two at the beginning. Then this is interesting. What an interesting approach. They go into series uh, in chapter four. A series, that's a, that's a big step up in difficulty from, from chapter three. Uh, I don't know if that's the best way you would cover it if you were learning on your own or teaching it, but that's the way it's presented uh, in the book. Then it goes on to higher order linear equations. Then it goes on to Laplace transforms. It talks about the step function quite early in the chapter. A little bit more here with Laplace transforms, and then it goes on to systems of first order linear equations. Some differential equations courses cover this and some don't. And then it talks about numerical methods. Then it goes on to some nonlinear things and stability, so a little more advanced. A little bit more here with Laplace transforms. And then it goes on to systems of first order linear equations. Some differential equations courses cover this and some don't. And then it talks about numerical methods. Then it goes on to some nonlinear things and stability, so a little more advanced. And here you see here are the more advanced topics, partial differential equations and Fourier series and then boundary value problems and Stern-Louisville theory. So these are not things you would typically see in a regular differential equations course. And it does have answers to most of the problems. The Boyce and De Prima book is really well written and it really is a pleasure to read. It starts off by giving an example of an application on Newton's law. So it gives you real life uh, physical applications of mathematics right at the beginning, just to try to motivate people. I feel like a lot of times people need to see an application of math in order to appreciate it. Uh, I personally don't feel that way. Uh, I like math for the sake of math. Uh, I'm a purist, I guess. Here they talk about Bernoulli equations. And you know, I sometimes wonder how long it takes to write a book like this. I mean, the amount of effort that went in to write a book that is this amazing. I mean, look how thick this book is. I mean, let me just pick it up so you can see it. I mean, that is a lot of mathematics. The amount of effort and time that it takes is just life consuming. I mean, this is an amazing book. Here he does an example. Find a series solution in powers of X of Aries equation. It gives you an equation there. Then it gives you some historical background. Um, they do that a lot throughout the book. They have like little side notes where they tell you why things are important or where they came from. It's quite interesting. It's, it's a really nice touch. The book does have plenty of exercises. It has quite a few. 
Now, a lot of the modern books that are used today, for example, like the book I use to teach differential equations, they have more problems, but is it really necessary? I mean, I don't know. I don't think so. I think this has plenty of problems, and the authors also include answers to most of the problems, not just the odd-numbered questions. No, no, no. Most of the problems actually have solutions. Let me show you. So I just picked a random section here so you can see. So one, two, and then we go to three. Okay, so four is missing. Five, six, seven, eight is missing. Nine, ten, eleven. So it does that throughout. It will randomly skip certain questions. Maybe there are proofs. Maybe it's not something that the authors felt like providing a solution for. But it's more than just the odds. So that is a big plus of this classic book. I should emphasize how thick this book is. This is the thickest differential equations book I own. I think it's thicker than the Saf and Snyder book. I mean, look at that. Just It's heavy, too. I'm holding it, and I wish you could hold it with me and feel it. You can see it bend in the camera. Um, it's a big it's a big book. This is, this is the book. <laughs> really, really old-school, big, thick book. This is a short section where he does a review of matrices, and... I really wish you could smell it with me. It's really quite amazing. You know, these older books, there's something about just opening the book and, and smelling it and reading. And, you know, the language that is used to write a book like this is very different than the language you see in modern books. And that's why I think it's important for people to have lots of math books. You know, you can have the book for your class and maybe a couple more, but... I really think uh, the more the better, and I really have you know, a fascination with, with the older books. This is one of my favorite sections in the entire book. It's the section on Laplace transforms. I love Laplace transforms. It's one of my favorite topics to read about, uh, to work on, to teach. Uh, Laplace transforms come up a lot, so if you're going into engineering or you're thinking about going into engineering, um, you will use Laplace transforms. I just have like a special admiration for this. I have seen Laplace transforms used in so many weird places in life. Um, I was at an estate sale once and the person who was no longer alive had a notebook and inside his notebook uh, there were research papers and the papers had Laplace transforms in them. And I thought, wow, this is some famous retired nuclear physicist and he's doing Laplace transforms in his spare time. <laughs> you just have to love it. He talks about the predator-prey systems. That's always a really cool name, right? Competing species and predator-prey. So really cool topics uh, in this differential equations book. It's really hard to find anything negative um, to say about this book other than it's a math book and it can be hard to read and extremely hard to read sometimes. I mean, it is a math book, so... Uh, it's not something like you can just read and understand all of it and expect to understand all of it. It's just a, a differential equations book uh, on you know differential equations. So I can't think of anything bad to say about this book. Um, I, I really think if you're thinking about learning differential equations, if you're taking differential equations, I highly recommend uh, you pick up this book. And again, all positive. I, I can't think of anything negative to say. This is just another brief look at the section on systems. And, you know, it's just amazing to me that you can go online and for less than $10 probably, you can buy this book and, and you get all of this mathematics. I mean, I can't even begin to understand the amount of work that it took Boyce and DePrima to write this book. I mean, there is so much knowledge in this book. I mean, look how big this book is. It is huge. And you can get it today online probably for less than ten dollars um it's just amazing and it's it's a little bit sad too i feel like a book like this should be worth more money i feel like it should be more expensive i feel like it should be valued more um but at the same time we're lucky that we can get books you know so inexpensively today again the book is elementary differential equations and boundary value problems and this is the Boyce and DePrima book. This is an absolute classic. And I think I'm going to stop this video now and I'm going to sit down and read a little bit of it because just even making this, making this video is making me think like, wow, I really want to read this book some more. Good luck.